If you're a beginner in Blender or even a pro, you probably had a hard time navigating the viewport on Cycles Render. Like I can have this simple scene with only a plane and a ball, and it will be hard to move around in render view to see the scene. And this is barely have any poly count, so you can only imagine the pain with big scale work. Now, one of the key factors in this slow performance is the denoising, because you can see if we make it on, the viewport is laggy. But if you turn it off, the scene is now much smoother to work with, and the sampling speed between the two is so obvious, so how you can work it around? Well, if you don't know, there's this option in the denoising called starter samples, which is by default set on one. That means the denoiser runs from the start, and that what caused the issue. We need it to be off as long as possible, and I have 64 samples set for the viewport, so I can make it on 55 maybe, or even 60. This way, the viewport rendering will go fast and smooth, and the denoiser won't start every time I move around, which is what happens most of the time. Then, once you are done with moving, it will start denoising at the end. So next time you have some work with cycles, set it up depending on your viewport samples, might prevent you from running out of RAM in big scenes. See you next time. Be sure to like and sub before you go with the wind. Stay sharp. Goodbye.